Today, I'll show you how to create a custom WooCommerce cart page, and we'll do it step-by-step step without writing any code. This is perfect if you have a shop or a store that you're wanting to increase the conversion rate on that, because by default, the WooCommerce cart page isn't quite optimized for conversion. So if you're ready, let's dive in. For this tutorial, this is my store, and if we come up to our cart, this is the default cart that you'll likely see with any WooCommerce installation, and it's okay. But we want to make some changes. We want to add a little bit of social proof. We want to add a little bit of maybe some review stars to let people know that this is a popular item and maybe even some best selling items that you can also purchase. So to do all this, we're going to head back over to our WordPress dashboard and we'll be installing a plugin. The plugin we're going to install is Seedprod. Seedprod can do several things for your website. You can create a theme with this. You can also customize WooCommerce cart page, even individual product pages without writing any code. For this version, we're going to be using the Seedprod Pro or higher because that is where the WooCommerce part is. So you'll want to head to Seedprod to create an account. You can head over to your downloads page to download the plugin. While you're here, you also want to copy your license. Then we can head back over to WordPress dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new. And instead of searching for a plugin, we're going to upload the plugin and you can choose file from here. Or if you have it like I do, you can left click and drag up the file. Now we can click install now and activate the plugin. Once it's activated, we want to paste in our license key that we copied earlier and verify it. And then we should get a green notification that we have a valid license key. Now we can create our custom WooCommerce cart. To do that, we can go over to landing pages and this is where we can do any type of landing page that we want. So I'm going to click on add new landing page. And as I said, this is also really good. If you have a particular product, you can create a single product landing page to boost conversions as well. And then these are all of the landing pages that you can choose from. You can filter by what type of landing page you're doing for this one. We're just going to start with the blank template so that I can show you just how quickly we can get up and running. So we'll just call this cart page. And we'll also want to make sure that we change something in the WooCommerce settings when we're finished. So let's save and start editing the page. All right, since we're just starting with the blank page, we're going to start with choosing this layout so I can add just an image up here for our logo. And when we click on this, we can either use stock image if you don't have a logo or we can use our own. Now that we have our image up here, we can come back and then we also want to create a column area. So we'll set up a quick column. And we want to choose the layout of the actual cart. So for this one, I want the main area to be the product and then the sidebar area to be like testimonial and rating. So we're going to choose this version. And over on the left for our blocks, we're going to scroll all the way down. As I'm scrolling, you see that there's all of these other blocks that you can choose from to really showcase anything on your site. And then for this, we're going to drag the cart over and bring it in. And you might not see this. You'll need to add something to your cart so that you can see this in action. I have something in my cart already so I can see what all of this looks like. And if you need to make any changes to the cart area, we can just come up to the cog settings and over on the left, we see all of the items. So we can change our button style. We can change the button color radius of all of these. If you want, you'll want to choose something that nicely complements your website. So that looks pretty good for this. And then over on the right, I want to go back up to my blocks area and I want to add a testimonial. So I'm going to scroll through to find the testimonial block. If you know what you want, also, you can simply do a search for testimonials. It's under advanced. So we can left click, drag this block over to the right, and then we can have that in there. And if you want to add more, you can simply maybe duplicate this to make it look however you want. The other beautiful thing about this is if you don't want that, you can also come up here and just delete the block as well. So that looks pretty good over on the right. And let's go back to our blocks area again. The other thing I want to add is a review or a star rating. So I'm going to left click, drag the star rating over here under here. So we have a little bit of social proof over here. We can even left align this if we want. And we have some testimonials here as well. So this is starting to look like a really good cart page for me. Going back to the blocks, I also want to add one more item. I want to add a countdown. If you want to create scarcity or encourage them to purchase soon, we can add a countdown timer up here. And when we click on this, we can choose how we want this to look. So if it's 
date and time that's specific to your store. So if you're having a particular sale, then you can do that. Or you can do visitor timer to where it's counting down, say 30 minutes before they can make that purchase. So you can choose how you want that to look. And then let's do one more item. Say we want to do a best seller. So let's go back to our blocks area and we're going to scroll down to all of the WooCommerce area. And you can either do things like recent products, featured products. So if you have, you, you know that there are items that you want to sell then you can do that, but let's do the best selling products here. And so it's kind of like, these are the items that people have bought and they're best, our best sellers. And maybe you'll want this as well. It by default will bring in as many as you see here and you can click on the cog and choose how many you want. Maybe we'll just do one column and we only want to do say two items. So we'll do a pagination, but we'll also do a limit of just the top two items on the front page. And that looks good. All right now that we are finished with our checkout page, we can come up here and click save changes. Now we want to click on the little drop down and click publish. So we can see the live page in action if we want. And that looks pretty good. So now we also need to make this the default cart page for WooCommerce. So we can exit out of this, get out of that. And we want to close this up so we can go back to WooCommerce settings. On the left, we're looking for WooCommerce. We're looking for settings. And under advanced, these are all of the pages that come in the cart check out and things like that. So we want to make this the cart page that I, that was the cart page that I used. So we can do that. And then once we save changes and now when somebody goes to purchase and looks at their cart, they will now see yours. And then if you want to take this even further and you want to know exactly how your WooCommerce is converting, then watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to set up WooCommerce conversion tracking. And I'll see you over there.